used by half of the world's population, social media allows users to create and share content in various formats which can collectively be termed as anchor posts. Such anchor posts may attract comments from many commentators which could generate meaningful insights for both individuals and organizations. Furthermore, given that mobile devices are one of the fastest growing platforms with which people access social media, it is important to realize the said visualizations on mobile devices. It is difficult and time-consuming to gain insights from a large number of social media comments. Although most desktop versions provide primitive options to customize the viewing of comments, they can still be considered insufficient as they only build on top of the same old way of displaying comments as a monolithic list. These options are also often left out in their mobile counterparts. In this project, we aim to explore how Kandinsky Mobile can address these limitations by departing from the traditional hierarchical view into a novelty visualization of social discussions using a network of concentric circles. The application of visualizing discussions into concentric circles takes inspiration from several paintings of renowned Russian painter and art theorist Vasily Kandinsky. Each top-level comment along with replies to it is represented as a colorful concentric circle called a nucleus. Social discussions that stem from the nucleus are separately illustrated into surrounding concentric circles termed as peripherals. The application uses the design of a concentric circle to represent the hierarchical structure where each comment is represented as a circle. Colors are used to distinguish the author of each comment, hence threads with more commentators involved are often drawn in larger radii and more colorful circles. One design consideration related to color usage is the choice of dark background color. Studies recommend the use of contrasting color boundaries to help shapes stand out and enhance absorption of information from screens. Additionally, the choice of a darker shade of gray instead of pure black prevents eye strain due to overstimulation of the on ganglion cells of the eyes. For challenges specific to mobile devices, support for typical one handed usage is done by strategically arranging the concentric circles on the center of the screen. This is where user interaction by thumb is most accurate due to the limited angle motion of the user's thumb. In addition, to ensure fat thumb friendliness, the target concentric circles are set at least 7.94 mm apart when focused zoom is enabled. This is done using the application of padding around the concentric circle bodies which pushes the bodies apart, improving user's precision when tapping smaller targets. The example displayed on the screen is a video posted on YouTube. In the context of Kandinsky, this video is defined as the anchor post. When the application is opened, the user is directed to the menu selection page where the user can add a new post by submitting the post's URL. When a new post is added, Kandinsky extracts the comments from the social media platform. Once the data has been extracted, the user is presented the canvas page. In play mode, circles are incrementally drawn on the canvas representing the comments of the post sorted in chronological order. Kandinsky Mobile implements details on demand design where clicking on a concentric circle will display the details of comments within its thread. The colored bars drawn on each comment item represents the like count normalized to a scale derived from its discussion thread. To enhance user navigation, Comments with replies to it or comments that are replies to a parent are presented with shortcuts to allow the user to quickly select the child or parent concentric circle. The application also implements topic modeling on the content of each comment to enable the user to see other comments of similar topic distribution. Identified topics within the textual content of the comments are highlighted in yellow. The reference comment is affixed at the top of the interface while the list of similar comments are listed below. Each comment item features a zoom button to allow the user to quickly pan the canvas to the circle's position. In spectrum mode, all concentric circles are immediately displayed and the timeline player controls are replaced with spectrum controls which visualizes the number of comments published over time. Using the spectrum controls, the user is able to filter comments displayed between a specified time frame where only comments newly published within the time frame are highlighted. Kandinsky also features a search function where the user is able to search for comments that contain a given keyword. 
concentric circles that contain comments matching the keywords are highlighted and surrounded with a white box. To conclude this demo, the high user engagement of social media generates volumes of information from social conversations, providing a rich source of information on public opinions. This project has developed Kandinsky Mobile to support the user on analysis of complicated social conversations. We hope you enjoyed the demo and thank you for watching.